So a, a kind of a classic headlock position. Okay. Um, the key, couple keys right away. I need to be on my side with my elbow down. This shouldn't be new to us, right? We talked about that. We did a position similar where we escaped side control, but instead of having just the head, he had an underhook under here and we used the hip and we kept the head away. These two principles shouldn't be all that different for us, but I need to get my elbow between his hips and my ribs and I need to get my hand framed up here, okay? I frame the head as far away as possible and I use this hand, like if he's really pushing back into me, I'll use this as a support hand to frame. I will not take this hand up and push the head away, right? Out of fear that he grabs my arm and is able to pull my arm across, okay? So I keep it framed here and here, all right? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my hips away, creating space for him to fall. So I'm basically just shrimping my hips out. I'm gonna roll up, and if I can, I'm gonna bring my left leg over his head. If not, I just do like a teeter-totter like this, okay? But I'm up, bringing my leg over the head, bring him up and over here. All right. Now, if they're still holding on here, or sometimes when you're on top, they just grab your head, all right? I'm gonna post my hand. Okay. It's very common if I'm just in mount for someone just to grab my head and hold if they don't know any better, right? So I'm here, I'm in modified mount. I'm gonna keep this frame here. I'm gonna push here. Now notice, I'm not using my neck to pull straight out. I'm driving his elbow over his head by using my shoulder on the inside of his armpit to drive here to make him release, okay? From there, I can either turn and take an arm lock or I would prefer just to like do damage and choke him out from here, all right? Okay, let's go through that one more time, bro. Elbow in between his hips and ribs, framing here, creating space, okay? I either bring the leg up to the head or I can bring my legs up, bring him down and over. I'm gonna go ahead and go to modified mount if I can, just a little easier to break this headlock from that position. If I can't, it's possible I still do it from here. I need to drive and then I'm driving this part of my neck here, okay? Passing it over. I feel a little like I got a little more downward pressure and modified mount to do that same thing. And then I can take the arm, um, but I'd rather choke somebody. So I punch him, go to take the back, choke. 